Hi everyone, I'm Ethan Kang, a Forge Advocate. In this lighting talk, I will quickly show you what is a fed review model translation result. This slide collects FAQ from our customer on this topic. How it will help you understand why something is not what you expect I translate. Then you are ready model with a model the API. Okay, the first factor is about the translation job. When using the model the API to translate Ruby model, we will submit a job calculation like this. There's one uh, required field called views, but a model the API doesn't care about it for Rabbit. Instead, you will use the view in a public setting. So what will happen if we miss this one? If there is no uh, valid uh, public setting in the Ruby model, Model the API will by default translate all shit and the default CD view in a Ruby model for you. So how can we prevent this? Okay, it's this simple. Just go to a public setting and ensure view and the view set are select like this. And save the change in the Ruby model and upload it to Forge for translation. And that's about the view settings. First of all, what you see in Revit is what you get in Forge Viewer. Therefore, view settings are a beta factor if something in the view is not as bad as you saw app translate with uh, Forge. So let's see where we can find the view setting on Revit desktop. The first two places we may check are the views of visibility, graphic override, and, and the high end on high element feature, we can change load setting in the view to make element invisible and visible. The next press is visual style. The setting controls what the element looks like in Forge Viewer and the Rabbit. Here shows two uh, examples. To change load setting, we can make use of Rabbit's material manager. The graph one is for the shaded visual style. The appear one is for the realistic visual style. Here's another setting called detail level. In Rabbit, we can change this setting to control how the Rabbit uh, presents the element geometry details. Here shows the cross level. If we change the de detail level to fine, we can see the pipe is shown in solid, not lines. And that's about the Ruby properties. Here we use the Ruby display language to show the difference on the uh, property names. Here we use uh, English and save the file. The property name in Forge Viewer will show uh, in English. If we change it to Chinese, the property name in Forge Viewer will become uh, the Chinese as well. But please be note, this only afraid Ruby built-in property names. User custom property will not be changed. The next one is about the property units. It depends on the setting in the project units. Here we use the millimeter. As in the forge view, as we can see, the property value is use the millimeter as a, a property unit. If we change to fit here, in Forge Viewer, we can see it, uh, it used uh, fit as a property unit. Here is the last filter, Ruby Master View. It's about Ruby Room and Space in Forge Viewer. First, uh, Ruby Room or Space are only visible in Ruby's 2D view, not in 3D. In the past, we need to create 3D solid for rooms or space by Ruby API direct ship. Now we can just uh, show the room by configuring it uh, generate master view in the post body like this. So what is a master view is a forge only 3D view for Ruby models for each Ruby face. It will contain all the elements in the host model, include rooms, space, but no linked contents. So how can we find a master view in Forge Viewer? Here are two approach for your reference. One is check model paths if it contain the least special or GUID. Another one is use it to get default geometry and pass through to this function. We can use this to get a first master view. 
that's all for today. Thank you for listening.